This is Dr. Susan Thrall. I'm going to create a crosstab query. If you are familiar with pivot tables in Excel, then you certainly will feel comfortable with crosstab queries because they're the same thing. Crosstab queries and pivot tables summarize your data uh, using row and or column headings. The types of summaries you can do are adding up all the data that relate to a particular field, or calculating an average of your data, or doing a sum standard deviation, or a variance, things like that. So to do a crosstab query in Access, I click my Create tab, and I click Query Wizard. And from the Query Wizard, I choose Crosstab Query, click OK. All right, now the first box asks which table or query contains the data that we want to do the crosstab with. If we want to have fields for more than one table, for a crosstab, you have to first create a query that includes all those fields and then use that create query that you created to create a crosstab. So you can't combine tables. You have to go from one table or one query to create a crosstab. We're going to select query. And from our query set, we're going to use query customers and invoices as our basis. The next question the wizard is asking is, what do we want as our row headings? So over here, where I'm pointing, what would we like to see? And we're going to have it by city. So we're going to see our various cities down the list. And I click that button to bring city over in selected field. And notice dummy names come up for my various cities, which are actually going to be the cities of Battle Creek and Rockport and Saugatuck and so on. I click Next. Now the wizard is saying, what do you want as your column headings? And it gives you a sample. We're going to use Invoice Paid as our column headings. So we have Invoice Paid ones Two, two and so on. And you'll see how this will wind up when you actual see the, actually see the results. Click Next. Finally, what do we want to summarize on? And this has to be a numeric field. If we're going to do a calculation, uh, for example, we want to calculate the total amount by city uh, or that something like that, it has to be a numeric field. So I'm going to click Invoice Amount and up come the numeric functions. Do I want to average the invoice amount by city? Do I want to count them? Do I want the max, the min? Do I want to sum them? What do I want? So I'm going to choose sum. And over here, notice it says, do you want to include row sums? So do I want to sum up by invoice paid or not in the rows? Do I want a total of the invoices, whether they're paid or not? So you may choose to turn this on or keep this off. We're going to leave it on. Click Next. And finally, what do we want to name it? Notice that the computer gives it an automatic name based on what our table or query name was in the beginning and underline in a cross tab. So that tells us this is a crosstab query based on the query customers and invoices. So I'm going to just keep this name. And I want to view the results. And then I click Finish. And up come my results. So I'm seeing my city names as my row headers, Battle Creek, East Grand Rapids, and so on. And I'm seeing the total of invoices, which I kept turned on. So my total invoices for Battle Creek is approximately $272,000. And I have paid and unpaid invoices. Now, the 1 stand for paid. The 0 stands for unpaid. But those are certainly questionable headers. So if you can see, in Battle Creek, I have about $10,000 that are paid invoices and a whopping $262,000 that are unpaid, thus my total. So this is what is the results of the cross-tab query. Now, just to make it look better, I'm going to change this 1 and zero to nice headers so you, they can actually see, a person looking at it can see what they mean. So I'm going to go home and go into design view. And notice here is the query design. And I'm going to click in the invoice paid text box right here and open the zoom. 
and it says invoice paid. Just delete this out. And then I'm going to type in I if, and then in parentheses, invoice paid. So in other words, I'm saying if the invoice is paid, what do I want to see as the column header? And if that's true, I want to see the word paid as the column header. And if it's false, if the invoice is not paid, what do I want to see as the column header? And what I want to see is unpaid. And I close my parentheses. So we're using the simple IF function to indicate what to print as a column heading. I click OK. I run my query again and notice I still have my total of invoices and I'm going to best fit that. So there's my total of invoice amount and of that $10,000 is paid and unpaid is $262,000. So that's a simple cross-tab query. So we're calculating by city and by whether they're paid or unpaid a sum of all of our invoices. Remember, you don't have to have the total of invoice amount. That can be left out if you wish. This is a cross-tab query. And if you know Excel, this is just like an Excel pivot table.